The other thing is in terms of actually defining and creating and managing these uh, communication instances, uh, the ability for import and export of that publisher. So here you'll see the user export the existing configuration for the publisher. And you see that in this uh, format, you see a bunch of assets named BF uh, you know, one, two, and he's adding three, four, and then I think five. And uh, basically he copied and pasted some structures and added additional assets to the structure of the publisher. He'll then import them and that publisher will then take and you can see those additional assets that they added that retained the exact same structure of the original asset. Um, and then you can browse through this, uh, this, this browser tool of browsing what you've actually have configured, the assets, the hierarchy, and the related uh, points that are related to those assets. And then you could take these, bring them into either system platform, in touch, you know, pick your your flavor of product, and um, being able to to bring those in. Now, while we do have the publisher and subscriber option, right? Aviva doesn't have its own MQTT broker, uh, which you'd have to go to a third party. And there are some free ones even out there if if you so choose. 